All right, and for our next story, we are talking about Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. So, as you can see, just by what I just put up, if you guys are watching, I put up a picture of Majin Buu. We've learned that now they're actually going to go into the Buu Saga. And I say we've learned because I could swear that personally I heard nothing about this until this trailer. Yeah, I feel the same. It's weird because someone in the comments section of our last video, I believe they said, no, they're going to go into the Boo Saga. So I don't know. Maybe they were a bit more diligent than we were on this. But just from looking at the trailers, I have not seen anything saying the Boo Saga until this exact moment. So I was under the impression that it was such a large, expansive world. All right. You know what? We only go up to sell. That's fine. I actually wasn't mad. Yeah. I uh, literally like, would not have been mad. Thematically and everything that would have worked fine for this game. Because it's a story. It's Right, story driven. Yeah. It's titled Kakarot. It yes. is supposed to be that bit of Goku passing on the mantle to Gohan. Yeah. But what I would like with if now that yeah, we see they're including the Boo saga, if at least for a bit, like I mean, aside the Saiyaman stuff, which is, will be fun too, I would think, mm -hmm. if you can go around fighting crime as Saiyaman in an yeah. open world. I'm all I'm all for that. Yes. But I kind of hope that you do control Gohan for a bit. Oh, I thought you were going to say we go Goku versus PyCon in the other world tournament and I was going to be down for that. I mean, yes, I want that now too. <laughs> now that well I've come to realize, Matt, that now I would also enjoy if that happened. Um so here's what we know so cuz we do have some other info that might be new to some of you might not be new so there is a pre-order there are a few pre-order bonuses if you pre-order the game you get early access to Bonyu's training if you're wondering wait Bonyu I've never heard of that character well you you haven't it is actually a new character designed by Akira Toriyama and I guess I don't know what it means early access to her training perhaps uh, she or they are exist to just help you out with the game for i mean this doesn't seem like a game that you would play much online so i don't really know or i don't know i don't know really get why her training matters her is an extra character i think that's pretty cool but i don't know why her training is going to matter in the grand scheme of things from what we've seen so far this doesn't seem like the kind of game that you're going to be playing at tournaments or that you need to have extra training with because there's certain fighting games tristan that like it makes sense that you get uh, early access because you want to get one up on the competition yeah. but I don't really get why there would be training here necessarily. You also, by the way, get a sub-quest called a competitive party with friends. And you also get something called one cooking item, which looks like something we'd have at that restaurant we went to. So now I want to go to that restaurant with you and a mutual friend of ours. Mm -hmm. um, and it gives you extra melee attack and extra HP. So I got to admit, the cooking item thing, that's not something new to this world, uh, the world of gaming, uh, pre-orders. Stuff like that has happened recently. And I just feel really weird about it. How do you feel about a pre-order bonus being an in-game item that boosts attack? Especially when it's not even online. It's just weird. Yeah. Yeah, it does kind of feel weird. Either way, do, do these uh, bonuses make you want to pre-order? I mean, I kind of don't think that's a new thing at this point either, though. But... No, no, it's not new. It's just weird to me anyway. Yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah, I mean pre-order stuff does look cool i i don't know that it'll i well no, no no i don't mean the items we'll get to the items in a second i mean those pre-order digital bonuses do those entice you oh um eh. <laughs> me personally not really the but... sub quest is the only thing that makes me go oh cool sure yeah right, right. Um, yeah exactly. but other yeah. than that i really don't care and it sucks because i care about her character i don't know who she or they are i want to learn more about them i hope that somehow they are i know that they're involved with the ginyu force in some way and frieza's army because right. when you see the look of the armor you can just tell yeah but i don't you know care about the training and i don't care about the uh the cooking item okay right. now the items in the collector's edition yes that would make me want to get the collector's edition i'm not because my wallet cannot take the abuse. <laughs> but... Uh, Your but, wallet is not trained sufficiently at 100 times Earth gravity. No, it is not. However, uh, looking at the Collector's Edition's items, there uh, there is an exclusive diorama, there is a hardcover game art book, and there's a collectible steelbook. What's funny is, if you wanted to... 
Tristan, if you wanted to uh, get this, we could try to get Satish Raman on this because he loves steel books. He doesn't even care about the games sometimes. He just wants the steel books. Okay. So if you don't care about the steel book, I will get you in contact with I'm a guy who knows a guy. And uh, you guys can split that however you like, depending on how expensive. It's into a triple threat. <laughs> Well, it's fun. Yeah, because like I would just borrow the game from you, so I wouldn't buy the game. Uh, but I would give money for the diorama if you don't want the diorama. And then you can keep the art book because I know you like the art book. And then Satish could get the collect uh, collectible steel book. Right. I'm just saying if you were considering, I don't know how much it costs, though. I'm a little concerned about that. I'm always concerned about because like. Go so, on. Let's, <laughs> what was that? <laughs> said go off yeah let me uh let me check before we no, even get I to don't. that i want to mention that um the game is coming out we knew that it was coming out january 16th 2020 in japan but i don't believe we knew that it was coming out january 17th 2020 in the u.s yeah so that is also a good addition uh in case we didn't know I, i'm feeling like we oh no the collector's edition is a lot 300 I mean, no, 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 no. It's 200. But even oh. split three ways. Yeah. That's like 70. Well, uh, not really. But still, it's not. Yeah. Eh. I don't know, man. We will discuss this. I don't know. I'm not going to. Well, I'm not saying the diorama isn't worth 70. I'm just saying that, like, I would feel weird putting that down. I might as well just buy the game for 60. Yeah. Um, And you can still, by the way, get. I'm pretty yes, you can still get the pre-order bonuses without the um the collector's edition. Right. Those don't have to come together at all. Now, what I am at least a little underwhelmed with is the uh the box art. And if you guys are listening to this, we'll try to have a link so you can see the box art uh for the game. It looks there's nothing wrong with saying, oh, it looks fan made. If it is fan made, I'm not going to knock people who are making this as, you know, these things as fans, because uh, I feel like that's rude. But this is an official box, and I feel like it's very plain. And I'm not saying it can't just feature Goku, but it's odd that it's only featuring Goku with a red background and a shadow. Right. I mean, do you disagree with me? I know the internet was uh, very, very upset. I'm not as upset as the internet was, but, like, still, I just feel like it's, it's, eh. I don't know. I mean, I, I kind of liked it. I I don't know. I It has a nice, simplistic kind of balance to me. I dig it. I mean, I'm just saying, like, we could have other Gokus there. Yeah. Or another version of Goku there. I don't know. Just having only Goku on the on the uh, the, the Nimbus can do. It's just I don't know. It's just I guess, it's too plain. I guess I'm just kind of a sucker for Goku on the Nimbus. It's always a nice go-to for me. Oh know. no, that's why I'm not saying we replace this Goku. I'm saying yeah. we add other characters and maybe even make the logo for Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. The other versions of Goku, rather, and we right. have um uh, the Dragon Ball Z Kakarot logo smaller. You have Goku in his heyday on the Nimbus. You have midlife crisis Goku when yes. he's trying to go Super Saiyan against Frieza. You have middle-aged Goku when he's Super Saiyan 3 and he's like, ah, I'm out, guys. <laughs> no, I've seen some fun fan ones. Like, I actually honestly oh, got sure. have. Although, uh, what's his name? Um, Kaiser Neko yeah. has jokingly made, I don't know if you've seen them, Tristan, on, on his Twitter, he's oh. had like... He's had like a bunch of photoshops. I'll send them to you. They're hilarious. Oh boy. Um, they're all just some of them are like actually really good. Some of them are just complete jokes. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. No. So definitely um, I feel like that's the the most underwhelming that I, I, what's funny. That is less underwhelming because it's just box art compared to the pre-order bonus content. Because mm. I just feel like the bonus content, it's just the pre-order bonus content. It's just not enticing me at all. Like, I yeah. can, because the thing is, I know it's a Dragon Ball Z game, but, mm -hmm. like, we've talked about this before, and I don't want to bring up bad memories, so I apologize, Tristan, but right now, Kingdom Hearts 3 is, and I know it's been a bit since it's been released, but right now, Kingdom Hearts 3 is, like, $25, like, mm. and you bought it day one. Shush! That's why I'm saying I'm sorry. I waited over 10 years for that game, Matt! 
I have two. I just still need to beat some other ones. I feel like I need to get the complete... I can only get the complete experience if I beat every single Kingdom Hearts game. It's funny. Um, I didn't even play Dream Drop Distance. That's fine. I actually have it, so I need to um, I need to play it. No, but let me look at... um. Where is it? Let me look at... Because I want to see if it increased in price or not. Because I'm pretty sure it was 25 last I saw it. Yes, it is literally on the dot 25. That's weird. Was Kingdom Hearts 3 $60 when you bought it? I believe so. Super weird. No, because it says 25 and it says it's slashed from 40 And I'm like, bro, when was it 40 Yeah. Hmm. Maybe, it weird. Was, maybe it was 40 I can't remember now. No, because there's one called Kingdom Hearts 3 Deluxe Edition for 60 What's the difference? I'm confused. What's in this Deluxe Edition? This shouldn't be relevant to me, but I'm very confused. <clears throat> no, why are there two versions? Oh, it's a steelbook case, art book, collectible pin. Wow, that is all 60 bucks. Oh, God. Well. I mean, it's an extra 20 then. Yeah. That's, well, technically 40 Um. Uh, if you now with the reduced price of 25 oh yeah, yeah anyway yeah, right, right. and it's also 25 on the xbox one xbox one is listed as 60 i don't know what amazon's doing amazon drunk go home amazon what are you doing um drunk anyway tristan, look tristan i'm just yeah. saying i don't know if i want to buy this day one if that's all they're giving me you know as a pre-order like i i'm not saying i'd never buy it because that's silly but i can just wait yeah so yeah I, I get you yeah i mean you know what's what's your take on this is this anything in this so far this uh this specifically th these new trailers have they made you want to get this thing day one or are you gonna wait a little bit on it yeah i'd probably wait a bit um your wallet as well cannot take it yeah i mean there's other things coming out too that i'm like mm, sorry it's still kind of topping you uh, what are they? Uh, oh, right. One of them is the new uh, Persona 5 Royale, right? Yeah. That's one of them. Anything else? That's, that's like the top right now. <laughs> uh, let me guess. I'm going to guess. I'm going to use my psychic powers. The second one is Yakuza 7. Possibly. Yes. What would the second one be if not Persona that 5? Or... Right. Uh, well, I mean, Astral Chain's already come out, but that's on the list. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But I can let you borrow that, so don't worry. Yeah, I know, but... Just... But I want it! But I want it! <laughs> no. You're gonna buy oh, Demon uh, X Machina, and we're gonna trade. Sword and Shield, as well. That's true. That's coming up in November. Yeah. Uh, this is slated for January, but still... Yeah. But still, no, no, you're right. I, w I want Sword or Shield. Probably Shield, because of Spooky yeah. Gym Leader. Um, No, I it sucks, too. The, I need the punchy Gym Leader. <laughs> It sucks because I love the way this game looks. I'm really enjoying what I'm seeing. The mini games look great. Oh, yeah. I mean, you can drive the car like in the the anime filler episode. Like, there's so much that looks great here. It's just that again, it's there's such there's such a crazy lineup coming yeah. up. Yeah, and that's and the then, thing. Like to yeah. even get into my lineup to be like, oh, you're on the list. Yeah. Like I'm I'm going to try at some point. You're definitely on that list. That still takes quite a bit for me because have to be kind of picky and choosy with what i get so i have to really want it so if you make right. it on the list of i want this you're you're going to be on that list it what's, may take a few years but you're going to be on that list what's the thing for me is usually <laughs> what, what gets on the list is how cheap are you because i no, because like i bought secret of mana why because it was 30 bucks right 33 sorry secret of mana the mana trilogy because it was 33 bucks for two games that i've never played although I, we played uh john and i played secret of mana for about an hour or so for those guys play uh last season but still putting that aside for a second there was the third game that never came out here trials of mana that say ken no dead Den 3 finally came out here so it's kind of like mm, say ken no densetsu I, I don't know what the fuck i said but it's it, to me i was like oh and only 30 bucks sure was i supposed to get the phoenix Wright trilogy no did i end up getting it crap because it was that's another 20, one on list. 23 bucks it was a sale on the digital yeah. store 23 bucks right. and i got all three games and i've only beaten the first one never played the other two. Oh, i've played the other two and oh. a few others okay if i had gotten it physical i would have lent it to you to play um it's worth it 
because you know physical uh the japanese version actually does have u.s subs on it like there's a u.s yeah. option right anyway so yeah that's the issue is that this game is definitely enticing me really the only thing is is you know there's so much coming up and also the fact that with that like i mentioned earlier over and over you gotta you gotta love you gotta um step your game up when it comes to pre-order bonus content i know you don't want to make people feel like they're really left out if they don't get it day one but at the same time i i would suggest giving it out later as dlc perhaps but saying no but if you get on you know directly if you get on day one you won't have to pay 80 one day or 70 one day or even wait until it's 40 to then pay 60 no you get all this day one I don't think that's a terrible business strategy. You know, it's a different. It's different than like the collector's edition, where if they like sell this shit off separately, then that's wrong, right? But yeah. it's all digital, so I don't have a problem with that. I think that they should probably do that in the future. Give more, and then go. You know, a year down the line. Yeah, if you want, you can get some of this. But either way, though, I, I don't know. Early access to bone use training, just not and cooking item. Ah. I don't know what to say about this other than eh, but um, yeah. So either way, tell us what you guys think about all of this stuff down in the comment section down below. Goku will be sad if you don't buy the cooking item. 